O.J. Simpson attended funeral services for his ex-wife, accompanied by their two children, nine-year-old daughter Sydney and six-year-old son Justin. He was visibly upset as he greeted other mourners, including Howard Weitzman, the attorney who was representing him until yesterday. The service for Nicole Simpson was private, invited guests only, many of them entertainment and sports figures. Also present was Simpson's new attorney, Robert Shapiro, who earlier announced that he would ask for a second autopsy on Mrs. Simpson and Ron Goldman, but refused to say why. Both stabbed to death late Sunday night outside her Brentwood townhouse. 30 miles away in suburban Agoura, California, family and friends also gathered today at funeral services for Goldman, a 25-year-old waiter and model. Police still refuse to discuss the case or reports of incriminating evidence that links O.J. Simpson to the murders. Today's Los Angeles Times reports blood found at the crime scene matches O.J. Simpson's blood type. And while millions of people share the same blood type, the finding could be instrumental in placing Simpson at the scene of the killing since neither victim shared his blood type. Sophisticated DNA tests to determine if the blood matches Simpson's could take as long as two months to complete. Los Angeles police detectives arrived in Chicago last night to examine a hotel room Simpson checked into the morning after the murders. Also arriving in Chicago today, an independent forensics expert hired by O.J. Simpson's attorney to examine evidence Chicago police removed from the hotel room. Uh, L.A. Police Department, of course, they're under a lot of uh, pressure to uh, conduct the investigation. As a defense expert, our role is to review that, to make sure those are scientifically sound and did correctly. The exact time that Mrs. Simpson and Goldman died has not been determined. Police estimate between 10 and 11 Sunday night. Today, a neighbor, Lou Carp, who lives right next door to Mrs. Simpson, came forward. He confirmed earlier reports that a dog was heard barking wildly at 11 that night, but he says he heard nothing else. When I got home between 10 to 11, 11, went outside to get my mail, only saw a dog that was very agitated with a leash. A report filed today by the Chicago detectives corroborates published reports of O.J. Simpson's stay at the O'Hare Plaza Hotel and reports of a bloody towel found in the room and pillowcases with traces of blood. Simpson told Los Angeles police he had cut his hand on a broken glass. Simpson's whereabouts at this hour are unknown.